Nano sensors. What are they? What are the applications in medicine? My name is Masood. Hello and welcome to Nanotechnology Channel. The term nano sensor is not clearly defined. Most definitions refer to a sensing device with at least one of its dimensions being smaller than 100 nanometers and for the purpose of collecting information on the nanoscale and transferring it into data for analysis. Nanotechnology deals with physical or chemical properties of matter at the nanoscale which can be different from their bulk properties. Nanosensors can take advantage of these phenomena. Important characteristics and quality parameters of nanosensors can therefore be improved over the case of classically modeled sensors with merely reduced sensing parts and or the transducer. Therefore, nanosensors are not necessarily reduced in size to the nanoscale but could be larger devices that make use of the unique properties of nanomaterials to detect and measure events at the nanoscale. For instance, in noble metals such as silver or gold, nanostructures of smaller size than the de Broglie wavelength for electrons lead to an intense absorption in the visible near UV region that is absent in the spectrum of the bulk material. Nanosensors have been developed for the detection of gases, chemical and biochemical variables, as well as physical variables and the detection electro electromagnetic radiation. This figure presents various types of nanosensors which are classified by 1. There are different detection targets, 2. There are constituent materials, and 3. The signals they use to transmit information. There are generally four types of nanosensors including optical nanosensors, biological nanosensors, chemical nanosensors, and physical nanosensors, which have subcategories as shown in this figure. Nanosensors can be prepared by using different methods. Three common methods are top-down lithography, bottom-up fabrication, such as, for instance, controlled lateral epitaxial growth and atomic layer deposition and self-assembled nanostructures usually done with biomolecules, e.g. liposomes, that combine in such a way that the biochemical detection of an analyte is converted into an electrical signal. An analyte, sensor, transducer and detector are the components of a sensor system with feedback from the detector to the sensor. Sensitivity, specificity and ease of execution are the main goals in designing a sensor. Nanosensors typically work by monitoring electrical changes in sensor materials. For example, carbon nanotube-based sensors work in this way. When a molecule of nitrogen dioxide is present, it will strip an electron from the nanotube, which in turn causes the nanotube to be less conductive. If ammonia is present, it reacts with water vapor and donates an electron to the carbon nanotube, making it more conductive. By treating the nanotubes with various coating materials, they can be made sensitive to certain molecules and immune to others. Oral administration of drugs is more common compared to injection due to convenience of the patients. However, drug bioavailability through oral route is limited because of physiological barriers of the gastrointestinal tract. However, some new drug delivery systems are being developed due to the improvement of nanocapsule transportation, e.g. polymeric nanoparticles which prevent drug from inactivation and degradation through acid 
and enzymatic barriers of the gastrointestinal tract, various studies reported the benefits of nanoparticles such as the reversal of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug-induced gastrointestinal injury and radio protection from cancer radiotherapy. Cerium oxide nanoparticles have been also reported to protect the gastrointestinal epithelium from the reactive oxygen damage. Nanosensors have different applications in medicine, including monitoring glucose in diabetes, asthma detection, cancer detection and drug delivery, and Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease detection. Diabetes is a most common disease which can have side effects such as heart disease, stroke, kidney disease, eye problems, nerve damage, etc. Although there is no treatment for diabetes, but patients can reduce disease-associated problems through the control of blood glucose. Nanotechnology has been integrated into glucose sensors using two approaches. In first approach, sensors can be designed using macro-scale components such as electrodes, membranes, etc. These modified systems have several advantages including higher surface areas, yielding larger currents and quicker responses, and enhanced catalytic activities. These sensors have the same drawbacks as current sensors, including sensor fooling and decreased sensor life. Secondly, nanofabrication techniques can generate glucose sensors that are nanoscale completely. These sensors offer some advantages over conventional sensors for continuous monitoring. Due to the small size of these sensors, they could avoid the foreign body response of the immune system and subsequently have longer lives. Nanomaterial-based sensors can be used to monitor glucose through changes in pH or charge through a field effect transistor. These devices measure conductance which is affected by charges near the surface of the sensor or the pH of the solvent. As the concentration of glucose changes, the charge near the surface or the pH changes are either as a result of an enzymatic reaction or competitive binding. A nitric oxide nanosensor has been developed which can detect asthma by breath analysis. Researchers have also developed a nanobiosensor based on single wall carbon nanotubes and gold electrodes on silicon oxide substrate for detecting asthma attacks before three weeks of their occurrence by testing the nitric oxide in patients' breath. Carbon magnetic nanoparticles 40 to 50 nanometers have been developed for drug delivery and targeted cell destruction in cancer. Various nanoparticles have been used as specific magnetic resonance imaging MRI contrast agents for cancer screening. These nanocontrast agents are able to recognize unique cell surface markers, long-lasting blood circulation half-life, and better MRI properties. A polymer nanovesicle platform has been developed for the first time to deliver and inhibit Aurora A kinase in cancer cells, which is a potent oncogene and also targeted for cancer therapy. These polysaccharide nanovesicles, less than 200 nanometers, made from dextrin, were used as nanocarriers to carry the drug in their intermembrane space which is released by the action of the esterase enzyme. Functionalized carbon nanotubes and gold nanoparticle-based nanosensors have been developed for identifying the Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease from alveolar breath. Okay guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button 
And if you have something to say, please leave a comment. Bye.